you have lift up? Oh, hello, oh. guys. Right. We're back on your job. <laughs> hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it's been a long time since our last video. We apologize for that. Basically, since the new year, we've been very busy uh, with our Amazon TV business, and we're trying to start a, a new venture as well, actually. We're just trying to increase the multiple uh, uh, the streams of income and systemize <clears throat> a bit more the Amazon to eBay, which we've actually done pretty successfully so far. Um, yeah. First of all, why why are we like this? You might be wondering why there's uh, why why we're, there's suddenly two like videos like a web call. This is Zoom that we're using to talk to each other. Um, I am I'm in the uh, the deep north, not deep. I the deep south then. I'm up north where it, where the air's thin and. Uh, Unless you get snow. Down to the south. <laughs> and you get snow and stuff. We don't get snow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we thought because we're the distance and lately we've been working on so many things either to get things working, to fix Amazon to eBay, we've been not been doing many videos and because of the distance, the way we can increase that, and we've increased our productivity by doing these web calls for ourselves. That's number one why the web call is here. Number two is we can do more videos for you guys. So, yeah, we can have more videos to be done like this because when we're together, I think especially now we, we, we need our time to be sort of value. Well, we need obviously, first and foremost, we always say this we are drop shippers, and um, you know, that so when we're together, that's that's really what we kind of try, try, try to focus on. That's always our key task. YouTube videos is always towards the end, and unfortunately, it just recently we just haven't been able to um, get around to them yeah. so this is the way to do it anyway what's new with the business world so amazon to ebay jono um very unfortunately recently has had a few of his ebay accounts shut down luckily he's still got a few going uh one of them going extremely extremely strong um so well, that's really one, good got one left well got one left <laughs> well of the original one ones. <laughs> but um, luckily that is one head of a stable one but it's never good to have just one egg in your basket especially with amazon to ebay so what we did is we went and created a load more um ebay accounts and now that we know our blueprint for stealth which by the way oh my god that is a hell of a journey it took about six to seven months for us to get there mm. and the funny thing is as well i found a lot of people talking about stealth and how they know stealth and then you follow their blueprint and it doesn't work so that was quite interesting yeah. i feel like um a lot of people talk about it not so many people know not um, yet or practice it they might just go oh i heard a guy that he does it like this and they make it sound like really they've done it good. yeah and like they've done it yeah, yeah. But anyway, so that's good. So if anyone is struggling with that uh, sort of side of things, please do reach out to us. We are actually going to offer start offering these uh, little coaching calls just for people who want it, who uh, want the one-on-one -on -one help. We're going to use Zoom like this as well, so we can screen share. We can see your screen, you can see our screen, and we can sort of take you through things nice and easily. Um, but that's that's by the by. We're going to also try and put as much free content on the YouTube channel so that you don't necessarily have to book any calls in, that you can just get started by yourselves. I mean, this is a great, great opportunity for people who are looking for a nice side hustle and indeed a good profitable online business. So we've created new accounts. They, they are now uh, matured and we are now ready to rock and roll with them. So that's exciting times. We're also not only gonna be doing Amazon to eBay, we're actually going to be trying different suppliers. So recently, and this was one of our tasks in the new year was to try AliExpress to eBay because we thought, um, you know, it'd be sort of, they're less of a competitor to eBay. Obviously, Amazon's eBay's biggest competitor. So you do run that line of eBay not liking you and of course throttling you and all the rest of it, which we have and will speak about in other videos. But anyway, AliExpress to eBay. How did it go, Jono? When, uh, so, no. Uh, so we start. We started off with high hopes. I think that was the first thing that we kind of thought, right? AliExpress to eBay. I mean, we genuinely both at different times and at the same time, at times, <laughs> got excited about it. Um, and I think that was there was more energy into the excitement initially than when it actually happened when we got going because we just ran into loads of problems. Um, and it's it's nothing really to do with 
it didn't really end up being to do with the software that we use to actually list on. We use AutoDS, which are very good for Amazon to eBay, AliExpress to eBay, because we know it works well because Paul J. Lipsky uses them. So that's you know something that can work. But for us, just from our experiences, and then also I, and we both agree on this, we didn't, uh, weren't as passionate about it as we thought. We just saw it as, mm-hmm. as a, as a, as a further away Amazon to eBay, like an Amazon to eBay, but it's not because Amazon is close and we can fulfill the orders like, and they can be sent out the next day. It felt like something more distant than that. So I just, uh, we also, what we've always tried to do other than when we first got into the game, which was Amazon to eBay, obviously we've always tried, we're always trying to do things which other people aren't doing. And yeah. we saw AliExpress to eBay as one of them. But we very, very quickly realized, I mean, all other softwares, because we do work with a few softwares, and all other softwares are trying to do AliExpress to eBay as well. There's a lot of sort of hype and excitement in that in that space. Mm-hmm. And um, the few uh, groups that I joined on Facebook as well. First of all, like, I mean, of course, there's, there's always going to be a lot of novices, but I didn't see many people who've been doing drop, who were experienced dropshippers at all in them, which was quite surprising. But it also has told me that, Basically, the new hype for dropshipping is AliExpress to eBay yeah. rather than Amazon to eBay. Yeah. So I found that interesting, and that kind of put me off instantly as well because whenever there's a lot of new people doing something, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot, and they're not doing it properly, obviously eBay will end up clamping down on it because their, their buyers will have a bad um, experience with it. So we're trying other things now, a bit yeah. more I think- eBay. I think that, you know, that also just to go on to sort of like why I feel like I've not, we haven't put as much into it as well is we've just had so much going with Amazon to eBay, like trying to figure it out still because we're still, I know that we're not looking, we're going to talk about this in a minute about what we're going on to next, but with Amazon to eBay, now we want to just steady this shit and, and earn a set amount of money. I feel like and it's definitely still not dead. And it's been our baby in the sense that we've know so much knowledge about it. It would be throwing it away if we didn't steady that shit before moving on to add it something like else. And AliExpress to, to eBay was just, again, going to just, we saw the issues, didn't we, straight away? With product research and just, and then the, the shipping, and then if somebody had problems with the suppliers. We saw those. We did also start this in a terrible time of year. We need to mention that. It's oh, obviously yeah, funny yeah. year and the coronavirus has had, uh, just had a massive outbreak. And so, yeah. like, we, did, we didn't start at a good time. No, <laughs> and, and yeah, we didn't. No, that, that, that was a big factor as well. And, and then adding that on to the, all these Amazon, I, I've had four eBay accounts shut down recently in recent times. And that was like, oh, okay, need to solve this one. And then we had Amazon accounts were having problems with those before prior to that so it was kind of like all these things we're trying to resolve why are we adding another one with, with just probably similar issues on top of that so we kind of went you know what let's pull the plug start again and rethink and i think the good thing about what has happened the experience we've had was we've had a proper rethink not a rethink where it's like oh how are we going to come back at this so like, actually what do we really want to do in the future like how do we want to build our business together and i think that's well yeah the, uh, let's go on to this because this is a good subject i want to say first first of all though before we do move on a bit with the ebay accounts because obviously a lot of people are going to wonder why yours got shut down we're not going to dive too too deeply into it but we did go into uh Jono's accounts we did sort of dive in with what we already know and luckily we could make sense of all of them so one of them did get linked to a previous shutdown account don't know why I'm I'm putting that down to uh, a dodgy RD, RDP to be honest with you. So remote desktop. Um, sometimes the IP address gets linked. Uh, um, yeah, that was a weird one, wasn't it? That, that was a weird one, but luckily that that's the only one that we've had out of over the past seven months. I mean, at least like forty accounts shut down. So at least we can kind of like swipe that one to the side a bit. But the other um, three, or was it four? I can't remember. Basically, John I had done too well, too quickly. Oh, so yeah. I, I, yeah two, two were linked to other accounts. And then, and then the other two was because, yeah, I went over the, our, our thresholds in the second month. 
Yeah. And and I, the I, other one, there was five in total. So that, that, remember that one when both of us got our accounts shut down because I had smashed out 17 grand in the first month. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I will I will quickly clarify as well with, with everyone. Um, the first, so our thresholds, because this is good free advice. When you yeah. start an account, you do not want to do more sales than um, 5,000 in the first month. And that's or just 10, gross months, guys. So that's just like, that's just your sales on your, on your dashboard. On your no, nothing to do with profit at all. Mm-hmm. Profits. So you're not looking to make a massive amount of profit to start with, but... You need to do this. You need to do this to mature mature your accounts. Um, otherwise, eBay is going to look at you because you've got to think of it from eBay's point of view. They're like, "Why is this novice who's never used our platform smashing it? This is weird." Then they look into you. They don't like it. They ask for all these extra verifications, MC zero one one, and then when they find out it's from Amazon, they don't like it. You're new they can quickly just wipe you off. Whereas yeah. if you're a matured Amazon to eBay seller, they don't want to get rid of you. So that's the difference. Um, enough said, really. Right, moving on to what we're doing next. Uh, oui. Um, sure so, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll start this one then. Um, so we want, to, we want to, we had a rethink, and this is really good because we did feel that Amazon to eBay is, is done, as, done as well. We've earned good money from it, and we want to continue earning X amount. And we're gonna, we're gonna just, we're working on just building just like a steady income from that. We've automated a lot of processes like listing with our VAs. Now our VAs do nearly absolutely everything. We want an overview. Sorry, one sec- sorry guys, just one second. My girlfriend's asking me a question. Go on. Oh, just bring it. It's fine. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, what we want to do is like what she's she's made me toast, and I just said bring it. It's fine, as if that's normal. I should really go get it, but I'll just uh, <laughs> she's bringing it. Instead. I love you. <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, yeah, the only brain goes does one thing, and then you go, what? What are we doing about? Um. So yeah, it's it's um. We yes, yeah, so we all. I think you you were just mentioning just now. We've automated everything with with our VAs, you know, that really does help us. Um, and now we're going to move on to sort of like our next, our next project. Thank you so much. Look at this. Avocado on toast. With Marmite? Uh, with Marmite. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. With Marmite. Sounds weird, people, but try it. It's amazing. <laughs> it is. It is amazing. Anyway. It's so tasty. Um, and then, so we decided, um, I think you were following on Instagram, Matt. We decided we want to go into uh, something called Wholesale. And this is, we, it, me and Matt really did want to find something that we both want to sink our teeth into. And it wasn't just a bit of, bit of random excitement or, oh, look, we can make some money. We really wanted to go into that next thing. And I know some people it could be property. And we, we both agreed that that's something we want to do way later down the line. We, we really wanted to put, do something that we got excited about, that we wanted to get up in the morning and go, right, let's get on with the day. I want to be have be busy for the next eight hours and, and enjoy what I'm doing. And we want to shift our perspective because we both realised neither of us have really had like a, a job that we've that we've enjoyed and and that's what our whole Amazon to eBay was was getting your time back, being free and sort oh, yeah. of that's whatever you want with your day. And we kind of like we've kind of scratched that itch if you like. Mm. And now we're like the next thing is is like what if we shift our perspective? What if we were doing something that we generally like were motivated and love to do like day on a daily basis? And we're like, that would actually be amazing. So it's a, it's a job in a sense, but I don't know, some, something that you want to do rather than something yeah. that you're being forced to do. To pay the, the job word like a lightly the reason why we say job is because within what we're going to be doing is going to be loads of big tasks because we've been watching this guy called watch me Amazon on YouTube. That was weird saying that uh, for some reason. Um, like Matt found him uh, on Instagram, and I was. I was, I was I've been following him for years, ever since I did Amazon to eBay. I've been following, so like yeah. the seed was planted years ago. Yeah. And it wasn't. <laughs> and I've just been watching him grow, and I've just been like, this guy is yeah. doing something different. Yeah, yeah, big time. I mean, we recommend you guys go watch see it. It's called literally type in YouTube, watch me Amazon, and he, he's got loads of. He does sell a course and all that kind of stuff. But on his videos, he shows you his warehouses, his first one, his story. Story's amazing. He, he shows you how he actually sells. Like, he actually tells you a bit about his techniques. 
Um, so we we decided that, that we want to do that as well. And he even does it in the UK, which is amazing. And his figures are insane. Like his turnover, sales turnover on, on Amazon is insane. So it's mainly selling on Amazon. Um, it Wholesale is something where you actually find branded goods. I know a lot of people will already know what wholesale is, but we may as well explain. You can find branded goods, but that can be a brand all the way from an Amazon brand all the way up to a massive well-known brand. But as long as it's a brand that is selling, like for example, there's a few people selling it. It means that that brand has a reseller, a distributor, or you can buy directly from them and then you can sell their product. And so we're looking at basically hot selling items. We're going to be looking at hot selling items that are branded goods, and then we can be resellers for them. We can have an account open with that supplier, and then we can sell it on Amazon. That's probably our first place to sell it, I suppose, and maybe eBay as well. But we're probably going to go with Amazon FBA to start with, like just like Watch Me Amazon Guy. But yeah, this is this is what we want to see sink our teeth into. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of trial and error with that as well. Um, we'll probably go through quite a few products before we find a good one, but. You know, I'm optimistic at the same time. I think uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be a hell of a learning experience. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but I think that sort of brings us up to date, right? The course as well, Amazon to eBay course. This is we obviously promised you guys before that we were going to be releasing one early this year. It is early this year, and it's only getting later. So we are going to be uploading it very soon. Reason why we haven't been is because still a few of the videos. This course was done a year ago now. Uh, actually, yeah, oh, yeah, it was done yeah, a year ago. Yeah, yeah, and months, so we just needed to tweak a few things, update a few things, of course, and do a little bit more editing as well because it wasn't quite finished. So it's going to be very raw. It's probably going to be coming uh, as if you've just bought a course from us when you haven't. We're doing oh it. yeah, the way we talk about it, like welcome to the course, you've taken your first step into like blah, 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 and all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, all that jazz. Oh, okay. Um but it's still gonna be like it's you know, there's still gonna be a few, I guess, golden nuggets missing, but we're gonna try and add them into the descriptions of the videos, or I'll do a little video at the end of the videos just so that they're still mm. there. But this will be a fantastic starting point for anyone looking to get into drop shipping. It's free, obviously, so you haven't got to worry about that cost, you know, and um, this is because one of our goals this year was to help people, and we feel that this is the best way to do it. Um, and then this way, you know, you guys can constantly refer to uh, YouTube and our free YouTube content, and then if you do ever need that extra little bit of advice, you can always just book us in for a quick coaching call and, and just go through it. But I 100% advise, do, do the course first, well, you're getting loads from it. We do loads of how to's on there. So, we literally come from creating an eBay account to actually creating an Amazon account, and then also just how you what can work because eSync that we will show you that's the software you use on it, and how to actually navigate around eSync and the settings for to be able to drop ship from Amazon to eBay. You'll actually it's learn practical knowledge, it's proper hand holding. I mean, yeah, we did a yeah. lot of videos for this, for this course, so we, we are going to be dropping them. Anyway. Yeah, we filmed that actually on, a, on my Mac Mini, my old Mac Mini. So we're going to be uh, uploading them to YouTube as quickly as it can be uploaded. So expect probably one a year. No, I'm joking. <laughs> expect uh, one every, every, well, probably a couple a day, hopefully, mm. once we get into the swing of it. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll, the first one or two might be direct fed slowly, but yeah, we will uh, we'll speed it up, definitely. Without a doubt. Definitely. Quite a few videos, isn't there? Yeah. Like 30, 40 videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, we're, yeah, pretty sure it's like about 40, 40 plus. But um, don't let that put you off, by the way. They're, they're quick and snappy, unlike our YouTube videos. <laughs> and um, it is definitely worth it. It is definitely worth it. So we will, in fact, we actually met with a marketer, didn't we, when we were first, and he went through the course for with us, and he wanted us to put the starting price for the course at something like £2,000, which is ridiculous. And we kind of got scared by that figure. We're like, we don't want to be charging people two grand when our main aim is like, yes, we wanted to make extra money off it at the time, but we were like, but our main aim was to help people. Mm. So, which is, and that is precisely why we want to release it for free. Because I'm not, yeah, you know, the whole two grand, now you only pay 200 pounds. Well, two grand and now you pay nothing. So there we go. <laughs> 
Yeah. Whoa, what we get out of it? Uh, uh what? Yeah. Yeah. What are we getting out of it? Yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> still good. No, but, uh, great value. Woohoo! No, well, we're, we're, what we're getting out of it is is trying to achieve our goal, helping people. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's good enough. But anyhow, I think that brings us up to speed. I think that's. I think that's it good. Does. And we're about eighteen minutes in, by the way. New record for us. <laughs> Not early. Cool. Well, guys, if uh, you know, I hope you like this video, and we will be, as I say, dro dropping more content like this. Um, please like, subscribe, comment. Any questions as well? Obviously, always leave a comment, and um, follow us on Instagram as well, because you can reach out very easily on on Instagram with the private messaging of us, and we we always try and make it a point to reply to. Yeah, we've, we've, both, we've actually both got uh, the same Instagram account logged into it, so we can, we're both on the messages, so we can talk to people. 100%, yeah. So, um, yeah, and what is our Instagram? Our Instagram is Laptop Lifestyle UK, so do give that a follow. We'll put it in the uh, description or something. Do it. But yeah. It's exciting. Cool. Thank you, guys, anyway. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy the talk as well. Huh? Yeah. It's up to you to... Press the stop recording. Oh, yeah. I've got to press stop recording. This is going to get awkward. <laughs> Otherwise, I would say goodbye. I'd be like, so. <laughs> Still going. All right. Bye, everyone. Yeah.